Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install JLSage Firefox on CosOS. So, a little bit about this series is I'm going to go over a home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today. Um, I believe this is how you say it, Jayla Sage, Docker, a Firefox. It's an alternative to Chasm Web. Um, so uh, it is a VNC, so it's going to use a VNC client. Uh, but it runs a really stable Firefox, I believe. So I added it to Big Bear Cost OS, and today I'm going to show you how to get it installed. So this is what I will be installing today. You can search the web. So you can go to Google. Um, you can also go to the Big Bear community. Um, so it's just like Firefox, except running on your cost OS. So now I'm going to uh, start on Big Bear cost OS and there will be linked on YouTube description to get to this. And I'm gonna go over to the search right here and type uh, a J Lasago in. Um, so I'm gonna go to the Docker Bose. And now I'm going to go to the CosOS app name right here, and it's Big Bear uh, J, J Lasaga, and then Firefox. Um, I do apologize if I'm not saying that name correctly. Um, so now I'm going to start from the ser services, and then the first service underneath the services is the same name, J uh, a Big Bear a J Lasaga, and then Firefox. The container name is going to be the sa uh, same name too, and this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. And then the image, so this is uh, coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image, and then right here is the Docker image tag. The ports are 5800 on the host, and then on the container is 5800. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. Um, so you can change the host port over here, but do not change the containers port. You also need to update the web UI port if you change the host port. Um, so the environment variables, the VNC password is cost OS. The first URL that's opened is the big bear community, a URL right here. So uh, the volumes, so data, app data, app ID, which is dynamic and it's gotten from the name up here. So, and then config. This is on the host side, and then on the container side is config, and it's set as read write. So the X cost OS information to explain the environment variables, ports, and volumes. Now I'm coming down here to the X cost OS information to explain the app on the app store. So the architecture that the Docker image supports, and that's up here, this image right here. Um, so the main service is set to this one right here. And then the description on the App Store, the tagline for the App Store, the, the developer of the, doc, of the Docker image, which is this right here. And then the author of this Docker Compose, the icon, thumbnail, the title, category, so people can quickly go to the categories and select Big Bear Cost OS and now find all the Big Bear Cost OS supported apps. And then port map is 5800, and that's what I was saying. You need to change the web UI port, and that will be in the UI in the app settings. Um, so that rhymes with the host port up here of 5800. Um, so the scheme is set to HTTP. And then uh, the tips down here, before installing it, uh, when you click install, it'll come up with a model box, and it'll show you this right here. You can read the instructions by going to this Big Bear community a u u u URL. So now, um, I think that's explained the Docker Impose. So I'm going to be going over to the Cost OS to install it. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. 
So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm gonna start on my Casa OS and I'm going to go over the App Store and then I'm gonna search for uh, Firefox. So now I'm going to get, I get this one right here and it's coming from Big Bear Class OS. So I'm gonna say install. It comes up with the model box that I said on the tips before install. You can go in here and read that. I'm gonna say next steps. And what this is doing is it's download the Docker image with registry, getting extracted and getting it up with Docker and underneath because it's is using the Docker engine. So I'm gonna continue in background and wait for it to install. So now it's completed install and it looks to be up and running. I'm gonna go check it on Dozzle. And then yes, it's starting up. So now I'm gonna show you where your files are located. So if you go if you go in the files app and then you go to app data, big bear, and then the config right here, uh, uh, you can see the downloads, logs, and then profile, XDG, and then the machine ID. Um, you can see the, uh, the downloads and the logs for Firefox and Nginx. And then you can also go into profile right here. You can see our profile data. And then um, XDG, the cache, and config, the data, and then state. So if you go over here to the check marker right here, you can check mark it and you can download, copy, cut, delete, cancel. You can also go up here to the top right, download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and then delete. So that's where your files are located. So now I'm gonna go over the app settings. So if you're starting your cost OS and you go up to the vertical dots up here, you can open the end of the web UI. You can set some tips. It's kind of like a notepad. And then you can come down here to edit button and you can edit it. And then you can press the save button with this check mark. It'll reload the container and say uh, the Firefox is okay. You can go back into the tips and you can see it did save. You can go over here to the settings and you can ch uh, change some of these settings. Do not change the ta tag to latest. I see a lot of people in the community change this to latest i do not recommend it um so if you wanted to change the host port down here you could change it to like 5801 and then you'd have to change it up here in the web, a web ui like i was saying and then now you've changed the host port and you can press the save button you can also come down here to the vnc password and you can change that and then you can also change the open url right here but I think you should keep it on the Big Bear community. <laughs> but, okay, that's completely up to you. Um, so, if you go over here to the terminal logs, you can go into the container. There we go. You can, you can see the logs down here. You can also use Dozzle for this, and it's more advanced. You can uh, co come up here to the export compose file, and you can export this into a Docker compose file formatted for COS OS. And then you can X out of here. You can also come down here to uninstall, restart, and power off and on. And you can also check for updates right here. And this checks for updates from Big Bear Cost OS. So that's a little bit about the app settings. So now I'm gonna go to the web UI and show you the works. So if you go up here to the top right vertical dots, you can open in the web UI like that, or you can just click the icon now you will need to put in your VNC password and that was defaulted to Casa OS. So you'll type that in, you'll press the submit. So now we have the first web page open, which is the Big Bear community. Um, you can also just go, uh, go through there and you can go, uh, go to uh, the web pa pa pages like normal. You can also go to Google and search the internet um, you can go over here to the options and you can full screen it. You can uh, uh, put, uh, put things in the clipboard and then um, you can uh, clip to, uh, to a window, the, uh, the, uh, the scaling mode, so none, local scaling or remote scaling, the qu uh, quality, 
and then you can set the compression level. You can also set the logging to warning, error, info, and debug. Um, so that's a little about the Firefox Stalker container. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting this Firefox container running on Cost OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.